So uh, I'm Helen Leroux. Uh, I'm here at the Annecy Festival 2018 and we're excited to share one of the Google Spotlight story this year, Back to the Moon. I've been uh, working on the Google Doodle team for about two years and a half now. On the Doodle team, how it works is that every year we pitch some uh, projects about people or events that have like shaped culture and uh, brought a positive impact in the world. And I decided uh, last summer to pitch a project for George Melies. He was a pioneer, an amazing director. He created, you know, like invented all the visual effects of the cinema. And, uh, we decided together that instead of making just a video for him, we would use like all the latest technology available to celebrate his works. Since he used back then all the technology he had to, to create all his effects, we got in touch with the Google Spotlight story that put us in contact with the Nexus studio in London, which was great because I've worked with them before. From that, I uh, brought the pitch to Nexus and I started working with FX directly, um, reshaping the story and finding like visual treatments on the project. I took uh, care of the visual part and FX is more like into the animation and the technical 3D skills because he's done a 3D animation school. And together, yes, we came up with the with the story that you that you see on the doodle. I, was, I just remember sitting at my uh, at my Cintiq, being like, "How do you even start? Because there's no frame anymore. That's the challenge in a VR film. It's all around you. So, how do you? Where do you start? Uh, we made the um, overview of the whole scene, which helped a lot, and we divided the story into different parts. So you had what was important was to have like a main action, very simple story in front of you, uh, not in the back, because we noticed a lot of people when they look at stories, they don't necessarily like to go all the way around. So it was important to keep the main story focus in front. And then we had a secondary actions, like if you see little musicians all around. Yeah, the most rewarding thing about the project is having all the people get excited about Melia's work and rediscovering all the films that he made. Because this is like the, the purpose of a doodle in the first place. Celebrating uh, early pioneers and people who reshaped culture like that.